Now, the story of a Cleveland man who is working hard to stop gun violence. He hopes his journey, which includes being shot in the head, will inspire others to help keep the community safe. Bree Buckley has a story you'll only see here on 3 News. Hey, sir, how you doing? For John Trailer. I really get the shakes in here. His restaurant, Johnny Fryer's in Gas USA on East 131st. I got a secret sauce, it's really good. Is more than just a job. It's his way to give back to his community with a good meal at a cheap price. It's, it's almost my kitchen <laughs> to a certain extent. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, food is very good. And his own personal form of therapy. It's been a positive foundation inside my life because when I'm feeling like distraught and depressed, I could come and cook. I could come make somebody feel happy. John says it was here near the corner of West 47th and Lorraine when his entire life was changed forever. And when I get there, the guy shot me. And when he shot me, I, I don't know. I just woke up, you know, uh, all my belongings was gone and stuff. He was shot in the head 20 years ago while trying to help his friends caught up in the wrong crowd. Today, he's still on the road to recovery. I, I got fragments all in my face and my back is messed up and stuff and my eyesight is, is bad and I can't hear out this ear. So I may look good on the outside, but on the inside, I'm really struggling. Since then, he uses his restaurant to make a positive impact in the neighborhood and influence teens heading down the wrong path, hoping they can learn from his story and see him as a role model. There's a lot of kids out here that be getting in trouble. I was one of those kids and I changed my life. I totally turned it around. He's urging others to step up and be that positive influence and extended family to spread the love. My recipe is from my grandma heart. He says he's forgiven the person who pulled the trigger on him and hopes he can create a ripple effect for others to do the same, to live for something more. We need more community activists as, as young kids, that's 16 and, and, and 15, not just guys that's my age that's already old, but we need you young kids to come out and just speak up because this is your environment, this is your community, you know, and honestly, it's your peers that's being the ones that's being murdered. Reporting in Cleveland. All right, my lady too, may you be safe out there, okay? Bree Buckley, 3 News.